Obviously, no, my name is Bob. Bob, yes. What name do you want to be known by? Zori. Zori. Zori, my nickname. Zori. It's an Armenian name. Zori. 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 There we go. Sorry, the pronunciation's a little. Yeah. So, Zori, you, you, you mentioned in the, the cafe over there that, yeah. that your, your ancestry on one side of your family goes back to Armenia. The, my dad, uh, yeah. Yeah, so just tell us a little bit about what happened as much as you can about the Armenian genocide and what yeah, happened. Yeah, what I've read on read about you know years ago. I've been reading, still read to today. Basically, this happened a hundred years ago, where 1.5 million or so wiped out by the Ottoman Empire, Turkey. Now, why did that happen? Yeah, because the way, the way I see it, I just think that they've done it for a reason. Why did they do it? Like, if you think about it, it's the only Christian country in the Middle East all that time. So I'm thinking maybe they didn't like the Well, Christians you know that country. Apostle Paul came to exactly yeah. Turkish. Don't listen to the heckler. Right. Paul, He's been Paul, heckling me for a Paul, while. Paul, Paul, Paul of Sarsis. What I'm trying to say is like, you know, it's like, why, why were they murdered just like that? One point five million just killed like that. And now they have a big diaspora. My dad's family ended up in India. We've got other diasporas in Syria, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, uh, Syria, the question, Bob. Egypt as well. We've got a huge diaspora, so how can it be fake? People are saying it didn't happen. Who, who's denying the Armenian like, genocide? Pakistani government, Bangladeshi government, there's other people that are denying it, saying it never which, happened. Which, which are the and a lot of the Islamic countries will, will not admit to does, it. Does the Turkish government acknowledge yes. the, the Erdogan, Armenian no, genocide? Erdogan has said he doesn't recognise it all. He's saying it never happened. So one point, uh, and he, he doesn't one like and a half million very, Christians got wiped out and it, it what? It just is a myth, a lie? They say, Armenians are spreading? How, how does he rationalise the disappearance of all I don't know. He, from what? he just doesn't accept it. They're just trying to brush it under the carpet, saying it never happened. <laughs> this is their mentality. Mm. This is a lot of the... And, even a lot of the Islamic countries will, will do the same thing. Yeah. They're saying it didn't happen. Yeah. The only country that recognizes it is Iran. Now, I, I can't understand why. I, I mean, I, I, everyone says Iran is a bad country. You know, their uh, leaders, and, you know, the, yeah. their history and all that. But they're the only Islamic country actually recognize it. Well, They've the, actually the, recognized the, 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 So out of genocide, all yeah. the 60 odd Islamic countries in the world, only Iran is the only one the, that recognizes it. Only the Iranian government recognizes exactly. the Armenian genocide. Exactly. Yeah. You ask me. In, within, <laughs> the, within the Armenian church, are, yeah. those, are those Christians remembered as martyrs? Um, I haven't know? been to the church for years. I only go Fair like enough. once every couple of because I can't I can't speak the language. Yeah. I grew up mostly in the Indian Christian community. Yeah. I go to church, and sort of. So so you, do you go to a, like a, a Catholic Thomas. church? Oh, Catholic, Catholic church. Yeah, Catholic okay, church. So yeah. basically, um, so I don't go to the Armenian church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad doesn't even go. He goes maybe once every seven or eight years, but he's not really religious. Yeah. So. Fair um, I mean, I'm not really but that talking, myself, but I'll go to the Catholic that, Church. That's absolutely fine. I mean, yeah. for the moment, we want to talk about yeah. the Armenian genocide. So, um, what what ended up, how, how, how did the, the Turkish, how, how did the Ottoman mm. um, Empire go about killing the, the Armenians, do you know? I don't know, it's just, um, I mean, from what I've read, they just wanted to take over the land. Because yeah. what happened, we had Western... Whose land? Our land, because we... we Whose we, land? Armenian land got taken. They took the land, Western Armenia, what is now today Eastern Turkey. That was taken. Those people died. They, people massacred. Yeah. My great grandparents had to run away from there. Yeah. They, came, they ended up. They actually came to India via Iraq and Iran. So on my father's mother's side of the family, there were Armenians that came to India via Iran. This is the, this is so mixed. It's like my father's side on the my dad's my dad's da uh, great grandfather. So my father's grandfather came to came to came to India via Iraq from Armenia. So that's how these Armenians ended up in India. We've got a small community there, and most of them have ended up in uh, like you know, like you earlier, Syria, Iraq. We've got big communities there. Jordan, Iraq, even Iran has got a lot of big Armen Armenian community there. And we've got them um, now. They all live in America. A lot of Armenians live in America. We've got Glendale, California. You know the Kardashians. Yeah, yeah. Their father were, was Armenian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their yeah. father died years ago. He was a lawyer. And, and, died many, many and what do you think to the fact that the American government won't acknowledge the Armenian exactly. genocide? Exactly. Uh, yeah, they don't. They don't want to lose their trade uh, dealership with, with Turkey. So that might they might spoil their trade uh, you know, thing with Turkey. What do you think? They, what, that's what they're worried about. What they don't do want to. They don't want to. They want to upset Turkey. With what, this. what do you think yeah. that Christians should do in response to the Armenian genocide? How can they we? To, how can we stand in so, in solidarity with our yeah. brothers and sisters in Armenia? And, and need to show awareness that okay, this is what happened. It's true. It needs to be it needs to be rec recognised. Yeah. I know India did sign it. They, they're one country actually recognised the Armenian genocide. Yeah. And a lot of European countries have, like even Canada, I think, has. And uh, France have made it. Yeah. They've they recognised the Armenian genocide. 
I think Greece has done it, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure about Spain, I think Spain has. So any Christ any government that claims to be Christian yeah. should at least recognise yeah. the Armenian Exactly, yeah. do their duty and do that. Tell us about what's happening to the Christians who, uh, the Armenian Christians in Azerbaijan, the, the occupied territory. Small, I don't know much about that, but they're... Uh, well, just yeah. name the territory, people can Google uh, Oh, Nagorno-Karabakh, that's it, Nagorno-Karabakh. Nagorno-Karabakh. Yeah. And, and, and what, do you have any other information? I haven't really read up much about that. I know that was taken some years ago. We had, we had a war back in 1993, I think it was. Yeah. And there was and a so big war. And Christian land was occupied. Yeah. And yeah. I think from today that they still own it. Uh, are, 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 are the Armenians there struggling for independence? Um, I'm not sure. I think they're just, they're just trying to sort of like mingle with the people there and just get on with things. So they're not really... Uh, I think they're just... Are you, are you speaking from knowledge there or are you speaking from... Or an opinion, like just an opinion, yeah. Okay, there might be, you know. One well, I, I, I would su I would suggest to everyone that you go away and you look at what yeah, is happening to the Armenian Christians in Azerbaijan and the territory. What do you call again? Nagorno Karabakh. Nagorno Karabakh. And just ask yourself why your liberal elites who are talking about the occupation of Palestine are so silent about the occupation of of Greater Armenia. Why they they're, they're silent about the occupation of Northern Cyprus. And exactly. uh, uh, the desecration of the, the Church of Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. True. You know, the, these are these are the narratives that we have to counter the liberal narrative with by talking about what is happening to our own people. Because all Christians are one people. As an English Christian, I stand in solidarity with Armenian Christians. And I would hope that my brothers and sisters in Armenia would stand in solidarity with me as an English Christian. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks very much great, for sharing yeah. your story. Excellent. God bless. You too. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And appreciate that. Try to go to church a bit more. Yeah, I will do yeah. it. No, no, I'll go every Saturday evening. So don't worry. Oh, great. Have a Saturday evening service. I always go. Bob, I love teaching my brothers away, man. Uh, <laughs> come, back home, come back home, brother. Yeah, I want to. How are you doing? Yeah, not so Okay. Do you want to? I, I want to talk to Abbas because he's angry with me. But at some point, yeah. I would love to speak to a Sikh about Sikh. Okay. Yeah, I'll check to you, but then maybe maybe not on camera. And I'm camera shy. Yeah, camera shy. Yeah, and my father thinks that every Sunday I'm in the Sikh temple, so I don't want to get caught up. You do know this is going to get broadcast, right? Where's Abbas then? Well, definitely, I'll come and holler you one day. Oh. Yeah.